Hi, this is DC Scrapping Rooster. Today I would like to share a little project that I made for one of my friends. Um, hi Danny if you're watching. She's not a scrapper. She's just a very good friend of mine for many years. And this is a gift for her now for the holidays, for our Thanksgiving holiday. She was, um, I met her way back um, when I was living in PA and I was new to the neighborhood and we just hooked up and became very good friends. So this is a gift for her that I made because it pertains to something that happened on the day that we were doing a celebration. But you'll, you'll see why. Okay, I'm going to show you first what I used. Okay, this is the paper line that I used. Okay, and it's called, I don't know if you can see it, it's really pretty. It's called um, double noted, double sided noted paper pack. Okay, and if you're interested in this paper, let me know. I can get it for you. Okay, and it comes um, two sheets each, double-sided. This one has little polka dots. I don't know if you could see it. Really pretty. This one here. Let me do this quick. The other one. This one here. I don't know if you could see that. This paper's really pretty. This one here. This one here, the ledger, this one here, and this one, this one here, and this one. Okay, and like I said, it comes uh, two of each. Okay, I used that, and I used uh, this trim from Miss Garden Grove one okay and that's basically all that I used on this first project but it's a it's a set so it's let me let me show you okay and I might make you dizzy because this is a big piece it used to be a tin a regular tin can okay see a regular tin can and I just altered it I used the, the paper I'm going to bring it closer so you can see. See, there goes the trim. I just cut the, um, some papers I added at the bottom because this is, uh, four, I think it's 14, 14 inches high. And the paper line we know uh, is 12, 12 by 12. So, of course, I had to cut some extra paper to put it on the top and on the bottom. Okay, I did my, and I know I'm really close. Okay, I did the top part. I did the inside also. And and sometimes I don't even remember if I do the bottom. Oh, I did. Okay, I did the bottom also. Okay. And, and I used um, half glue, half water. I didn't want to use the Mod Podge because I didn't want the, the, the shiny look. Well, let me take this off. Let me show you the inside, which is basically nothing. I just left it the same way, but I'm going to show you my bottle. Okay, altered the bottle. And what I did is I did use the paper line, and I cut it into small little pieces, and I did like a decoupage. Okay, I put the trim on here, which is from this Garden Grove one. I did a little tag with Martha Stewart Little Butterfly. Um, some charms, and the charms were silver, and I just used my markers. I did a charm here. Uh, where else? There's a couple of charms in here. I had another little tag. I took the li little piece that I had from the trim, and I put it onto the tag. Uh, there's a little key and a little locket. Um, there's a little cheap cheese charm. I don't know if you can see that. And this one here is, it says wine, wine lovers. Because yes, we had a little celebration and I think I overdid it on the wine. <laughs> but we became, became very good friends after that. Um, this is a Jolie little sash. Okay. And a little grape. And my little tag. Okay, and that's and I know I'm pretty close. And that's 
my bottle. I put it here. Now I'm going to show you my card that I made. I can put this on. Okay, and my card I used. Um, let me bring it down. Sorry about that. Let me bring it back down again. Okay, I used the black cardstock. I used uh, this spell binder, which is the scalped oval. There it is. I used that the big scalp oval. I'll bring it back down a little bit. I used the civic die. This one here. The Martha Stewart doily, the vintage doily, which I, it's one of my favorites, so I use it a lot. I mean, I have a lot of uh, other ones, but that's like one of my favorites for some reason. Um, let me see. And for the sentiment, and I'm going to probably get a glare. Uh, this is the sentiment I used. And it says, and it's, I know, it's weird. It's a weird position. Friendship is the golden thread that ties the heart of all the world and I use that on my card okay and I store well I don't know who I think it's Fiskas I'm not really sure but I tend to uh, this is a photo album I just put them in here and what I do is I label them this one for some reason I didn't label I don't know if it came with a label it didn't come with a label I just bought it or somebody gave it to me I don't remember but this is how I store them I just take them put them in there after I use them I clean them stick them back in there easy for me and that's how I store my stamps. Okay, now let me show you my card. Let me clean this up. And I know I'm rushing, but my baby's awake and she's making a lot of noise today for some reason. Okay. Let me show you my card. Dropping everything all over the place. Give me one second, because I just dropped the inside of my little card. Okay, this is my card. Okay, and what I did was I used the same paper because I wanted everything to coordinate. Made the little flower, and I'll show you how to do the flower at the end. Uh, this here is, I picked these up at Joann's, and they're to make uh, pins, and I got them for a dollar, the dollar bin. But they're really pretty. Okay, and I used that. I the paper here. And on the inside, which I did finish, okay, that's the spellbinder right there, the sentiment. And this is a strip of a uh, uh, cereal box, I, I think. It was, I don't know if it was a cereal box or, but anyway, it was um, cardboard. And what I did was I had the little pieces left over from what I cut when I cut the paper, and I just broke them into tiny, tiny little pieces and did it like a thicker podge because I wanted to match the bottle. Um, this here is just a little saying, I have a little card in here and I'll show you. Uh, this is where her little card, gift card is going to go in. And I did the same thing with the heart. Okay, and I did the paper on the envelope. This is one of those little tiny little envelopes. And this is a Sizzix die. And there's a little note in there, there also. And that goes in here. A little want to see a little butterfly. No, that's a, I'm sorry, that's from the paper line. And I'll put a little magnet. That goes in here. And that's my card. And I don't know if I could show you all together, but I'll try. I have pictures at the end. So that's my little project. I'm sorry I was quick. But like I said, my baby's awake and I wanted to hurry up and do this video. Now I'm going to show you how to do uh, the, this, this flower, which is really, really easy. So let me bring this down and get my stuff. Okay, what I did, you probably can't hear me because my back is towards the camera. Okay, what I did was I cut them into circles. Okay. I cut them into circles and I just folded the piece this way 
as an, with an angle. Let me do it this way. It's a lot easier for me. Okay, and that's the way I did it. Okay, and I already have some done. Okay, and I, all I did was connect them with glue dots on the back side, if you could see. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to put a glue dot in the back. I know more camera. But I just take regular glue dot. Let's see if I could do this. And I just put it here, halfway, with a glue dot. Peel the paper off. Okay, turn it around this way. And I just add, I use this one here. And just add this one here. Okay. Turn it back around. Add another glue dot. And I know this is messy, I'm sorry guys. But it's really easy. Here we go. Oops. Okay. And here we go. And that's the flower. And because it already has the glue dots on there, you can take the back part. And there you go. And that's how I made my little flower. And that's my little project for Danny. That's my girlfriend's name. I hope you like. Thank you for watching.